This is a 2005 Crossfire SRT6. Gonna do a quick video for a coolant reservoir replacement and a need swings coolant isolation kit installation. Um, there's a common problem uh, with these uh, coolant reservoirs. The return line nipple uh, likes to break off, so that's why I was doing mine. I thought it would be a good time to install the need swings kit while I was at it. Pretty straightforward. First, um, remove all the coolant from your tank. I used a, a vacuum pump. Uh, you can drain it or do whatever your preference is there. Then there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one, two. Um, and then it's a press frit grommet at the bottom there. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this line back here is just a, a breather. And then this is your return line. Um, the front line will have to come off as well. And you can see that sensor there um and the line in the back and then it kind of just lifts out um so the sensor fits in there kind of just twists so that you get the tabs lined up here and that pulls out um installation is the reverse super simple you might want to hit it with some um electronic cleaner while you're at it as far as the installation of the the isolation kit it's this back hose here and it goes into this t-fitting and then this front hose here into the motor. Um, while I was at it, I installed the longer uh, return line hose here as well. Hopefully it'll help it last a little longer. Seems to fit a little bit better. Pretty straightforward installation. I'm looking forward to the results.